This is about where I'll be starting, hopefully. I'll probably be on the other side of the road, as I said, because that's where that 4, 4, 3, 45 marker is. I'll probably be saying just behind it, I'm aiming for about a 352 something. But I might even start and start around this area. That's the view that I have at the start. Obviously, not going enough to head in at the moment. Yeah, it's going to be a. I reckon it's going to be a pretty good day. I really do. Probably won't be a lot of room to warm up on this side of the road. There'll be a lot of people heading across that bridge over there, maybe ducking across the other side into the gardens. And then coming back in time for the start. Actually, I'm not going to take that risk. There's the look. Loser just ahead. They'll be very well populated in the last last 40 minutes. I'm sure there'll always be there'll always be two or three will be trying to get in and out so quickly so they don't miss the start. There's always one or two that are always be always going to be late. Thinking, oh, what do I do? I've got to hurry up and get to the toilet. Get to the toilet. Anyway, uh, about here is where I'm probably going to be looking to warm up. Let me get myself organised. Just in this guy's area here. Somewhere around here. There'll be a lot. Because of course we're this because we're outside Road Labor Arena. I'll try and show you where the eggs drop is. It won't be open yet, I think it's open from about quarter to five, quarter to six, and I think we're just before that at the moment. There'll be a few people downstairs, I'm sure. Got to head this way. Got to head over the footbridge. There'll be a lot of people heading in the other direction. I reckon, oh, I'm planning to head over the footbridge at about, about 20 to 7. Oh, no, not 27, about 20 past 6. 20 past 6, half past 6. I might do a final while here. I'll probably do, do some other stretches on the concourse of the G. This is starting to gather. There'll be a lot of people looking to warm up in that area there. Given there's plenty of space. There'll be some looking to go across the road and sneak into the house that Eddie built. I know, I know what you're thinking, that fucked hard. <laughs> anyway, a bit high of activity is good to know I'm not the only one. At this point, a lot of experienced guys who know what they're doing. For the first time, is out there, they'll probably be thinking about now as they pull up, as they get here, they're thinking, okay, okay, I've been told I've got to do this, 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 and this. So, where do I do Where do I go to do this, 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 and this? Experienced guys, some of the experienced guys who've been there, done that before. I don't know what to do. They'll know where to go, they'll have their routines set, set in stone by now and they'll know what to do and where to go. Breeze is getting up just a tad. Hopefully it won't get up too bad on the course. Once again the Beaconsfield Parade, that's where I'm a bit, very, that's where I'm a bit worried about it. Because of course Beaconsfield Parade is exposed to the beach. Alright, onto the breach. As I said earlier, about 20 past 6, I'll be heading the other direction. <coughs> Might need to do some lunges, try and keep the legs loose on the way back. That's, where we're, that's sort of where we're headed, but unlike the half and 10k guys and everyone else they got to, who head to the concourse, which is about there at the members, I'm not going to try and get closer. We're going to head downstairs, deep into the bowels. But before we do, a bit, I'll show you a bit of the end of the course. Just heading past the tennis center now. Uh, of course, we'll be a high of activity later on earlier next year. Nervous tension, nervous tension, always about, but ah, nice and relaxed about. It's good to see. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, the 10k guys and the smaller events, they tend to go into there, where the NCC members are. Or where the Ponsford stand is actually probably, I think they're going to go around another gate actually. Whereas we've, I believe, got to head down, whereas we, I believe, got to head downstairs. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of, it's a very good relaxed vibe here, I can, I can tell at the moment. It's a very, it's very good. It's very good. It's always going to be, there's always going to be nerves because there's always a lot of first timers thinking, okay, well, okay, we're here, what do we do? How's it going to go because they don't know what to expect. So yeah, we've got to head down that way. Basically, if I just go this way for a second, this year, now, there's two, you might be able to notice a couple of barriers. This is towards the end of the run. So we got it, so towards the end, we've got to head down there, down this street, underneath this bridge. Down this road, and just, just down there, not, not that section, because that's where I've got to go to drop the bag off, but a couple of exits later, that's where I've got to go. The slow runners, I think, have to go into this lane here complete a few circuits and then into the stadium. If, I have, if I'm in that group, I'm in a bit of trouble. I've had a bit of trouble. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go down the stairs. Okay, we're downstairs. There's a few people running. I don't think there's any, much need for, to hurry just yet, but as I've said, the second last, the last road section of the, of the course, as opposed to the last section of the course, Last year we didn't have to run this section because, as I said, there was research inside the ground, so they had an extra section around the Albert Park Lake. Another seated and another seated runners coming there, just lighting up the way. There it is. There's the clothing area, entrance A. That's entrance A. To all the marathon runners, we are doing a full bag check. Would you please display your marathon bid? Sure. Okay, so if you haven't been to the bowels of the MCG before, this is downstairs, it's underneath. Just look at everyone, uh, everyone dashing around. It's in the past, everyone just liked to congregate around here. This is an area where you get changed here. The storm in these boxes is fairly secure here. Female change room, I'm not going to go in there. I only need to shed clothes today rather than rather than actually get changed. So just find a spot, find a spot somewhere around here. Just going to throw this in the recycle bin. Get myself organised and we'll get ready to, to rumble. See, there's a lot of people down here already, and it's only going to get busier. Yeah, you got actually got to go upstairs to go to the toilet. Some people try to sneak in, but you actually got to go upstairs. Expecting a big, a big roll up. And if you think it's crowded now, wait till later on this morning. Wait till after the run. After the race today, there'll be a huge, huge turnout. 